I might have to just put a sack over your head or something for a <laughs> shopping trip. Let's go! Stuff just got even worse with Woody's school. Oh, I actually did it. I've done it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That they do these things to my boy. Good morning. Good Got my morning. little buddy next to me. <laughs> and we are going to spend some pot, uh, not pocket money, birthday money, aren't we? Yeah. He's been asking me all week to head to uh, Smith's, which was the shop that we couldn't go to on his actual birthday because of the traffic um, from Glastonbury Festival. So, yeah, now we get to go and he's really excited. Um, I'm having an awful time with Woody's school. I'll fill you in later. Um, I think I'm just gonna expose it all because if there's other parents going for it, then they can at least know about how to deal with it um, in terms of how the system works. Because I'm not happy, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, so we are gonna have fun at Smith's, yeah? Uh, and then, I need to do, I'm going to pack the car today, ready for camping tomorrow, um, because we are going swimming and then we're going straight to camping, so I just want it packed up tonight, the car ready, so that's exciting, I'm going to pack up the car later, and uh, yeah, same old crazy family stuff, right? Uh. As always. <laughs> I'm feeling much better today, I feel like I'm almost at normal, so that's really good, I'll be fine for camping. And uh, right, let's get on the road because this boy ain't gonna wait much longer. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> the car park's nice and quiet. The drive here was horrendous. I don't know what was going on on the motorway, but there was a lot of braking, a lot of dodgy maneuvers happening in front of me. So we just kept it steady. Um, eh? What are you hoping to find in Smith's, mate? I don't know. You don't know. He was looking on the website yesterday, weren't you? Uh-huh. And what kind of stuff did they have? Fans and rainbow friends. Rainbow friends. Um, Let's have a look then. Um, <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Freddy Fox. Freddy Fox. Guys, we had like the best little trip, didn't we? So, um, sweetest, uh, like shop assistants ever. So there was some mystery minis for Rainbow Friends, which obviously Artie really likes, and some of them had been opened by someone, and so I just let them know, and she said, oh, we're going to have to bin them if you don't, um, you know, if you don't want them. So we got two freebies. <laughs> we're so lucky. <laughs> and this was the one that Artie really wanted, wasn't it? <laughs> so we're super happy. And then what did you get with your money, Artie? Do you want to show them? <laughs> A plushie because he loves cuddly toys. Uh, yeah. Got a bam bam. Uh, uh, and for now. Do you want to open them? See what's inside? Uh, got uh, so we've got the guard to the bam bam one first. What are you hoping for? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Jester. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh. Bit of giggle, sorry. Who have you got? Who have you got? Oh, Bambolina! <laughs> she's still, she's pretty cute. I like that she's walking, that's quite cool. Okay, FNAF, let's go. Who did you get? <gasps> Funtime Foxy! Yay! Oh, I've just lost my card, please. Oh, a teeny tiny one. Oh, he's so cute. 
Dan, Artie's my little fox cub, aren't you? Oh, that's so cute. Awesome. So we've got four little goodies and I bought my very first Christmas present, guys. Woody wasn't with me for once. So. Uh, Artie's going to be an absolute nightmare to buy for for Christmas this year because he's always with me. I might have to just put a sack over your head or something for a <laughs> shopping trip. So yeah, a very successful little trip. I'm very happy. Are you very happy? Uh-huh. Awesome. We now need to go and get some chicken food, some food for us. So the chickens need some food for while we're away. I just don't want them to run out whilst we're away because uh, we've got someone looking after the dog and the chickens and the ducks. And then we need to get some of the last food bits for camping. Uh -huh. And then we'll head home, yeah? Uh-huh. Okay, baby. Good boy. So this little man's got home and he's been amazing this week, this be working really hard. So I got him a little treat. <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy. Dot. Wait, what's the characters? Luffy is a percent of 98. And then all, and then why is Chopper 99? Luffy should be 100. Well, the little man. You've worked really hard this week, and I know it's been tough. I'm proud of you. Wow. Do you like it though? Yeah, I love it. You got a Luffy. Would you like me to take it out of the box? Yes, um, okay. Oh, can I sit, stand up now? Yeah, of course you can, darling. <laughs> You just wanted me to sit, didn't you? I wanted you to sit for the surprise, but you can get up now. <laughs> yeah, because that's that, You can just stay sitting and playing with it. It's not like can you get it out? I can get out. See you. Oh, I actually did it. I did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. The, the school has. Um, I just got a monkey daily ring. <laughs> do, do they have the back hair? Yes. Do they have the front hair? Yes. Okay. Do they have white eyes? No, they don't. Not orange. They don't. I don't think they have eyes. Okay, guys. I'm going to try and keep this quick because I've still got two videos to edit for while we're away camping so that I still am uploading daily and I need to get them done tonight. But um, I vlogged the first half of the day and then I was planning on vlogging us packing up the car and getting everything ready for camping tomorrow. And then um, stuff just got even worse with Woody's school. And I've spent most of the afternoon crying. <laughs> um, I want to talk about it, but I also want to keep the balance right. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to keep in. Hopefully it'll be nice and easy to edit because I need to get on with editing. <laughs> Last night, Woody wrote down and said, a couple of things about struggling with friendships at school and stuff which you know he has ADHD so it, it can I I recognize that he's going to struggle with social situations and friendship but he also said that the school are handling him he described scenarios where he's being handled and said it happens a lot so I'm already kind of not in a good place with the school because they have been I feel quite manipulative in how they're handling the situation in September as in covering their backs rather than being honest you know he's gone from being at risk of exclusion to suddenly everything's fine don't know what you're on about so uh, my trust isn't really there at the moment and then I emailed them this morning saying I need some answers to this pretty quickly uh I asked you 
to tell me if there was any handling going on months ago and I haven't heard anything so obviously I assumed you weren't handling him um you know I, I need an answer alongside what's going on in September still and the reply I had um basically they've said that they have communicated with me that they do these things to my boy and they haven't they've got no evidence that they have because they haven't but i'm already gonna have an editing nightmare so i'm just gonna <laughs> leave it at this and say that uh at least tomorrow we get to go camping as a family and spend some nice quality time together and uh maybe it'll clear my head and help me think about what i'm supposed to do with his schooling because i really don't know what to do and uh, i don't like not having the answers <laughs> <laughs>